Hello everybody. Here I have a solar powered storage container, mobile storage container. I got solar panels on the side here. I also have some on the roof on top, which I'll show you in a little bit. I use the insulation, two inch foam insulation for the roof. And I'll show you what else I did to the roof right now. So the panels will have foam insulation sandwiching them. I have this power plant, it's the grow watt. Right now it's early in the morning. We're used, getting about 93 watts of power. Sun still hasn't hit those panels. Normally around 10 o'clock when the sun, see the sun's over there right now. And then that big tree helps shade it too. And then this chimney shades part of this panel here, which I need to adjust the trailer. So for the walls of the trailer, what I plan on doing is from here all the way to the end, I'm gonna use a polycarbonate clear plastic. It's the same material we use for our signs. We make signs, um, doesn't break. So what does break after many years, very strong material. It's clear, it's gonna go on there. And I'm also gonna wrap it with some really cool image that I'll show you in a little bit. So this is what I did with the roof. Underneath here, the foam is just like this. I put the twine. I put screws all around it and I wrapped the twine as you can see right there. And this stuff right here is that foam board. It's the foam concrete. It's used for cement posts. It replaces two bags of cement posts. As you can see the shadowing from the chimney. It seals it. Waterproof outdoors. See how hard this stuff is. It's really, really hard. So this is the foam roof. Two inch steel tubing. Solar panel. So these are the blinds, they're cellular blinds, buy them at Home Depot. These are the blackout ones, which are blackout windows. They block 90 something percent of the heat. Very good material. This is what it looks like. It's hollow, you can see right through it. You can see right through it, which gives it a nice chamber which these blinds is what I use in my house. This wall right here, the sun hits it. The sun hits these walls right here really bad in the daytime. Okay, so those are the blinds which will go on each one of those squares, which I'm gonna do two layers of blinds. One of them is gonna be the blackout blinds, which would be right there in that square. I'm gonna hang one. One blind is gonna go inside here, and then the other one will go overlapping it which will get a bigger span. See, about an hour already passed. We are using, all right, we're getting 430 watts. We're consuming 800 watts. And that's just from right now. It is oh man, 804. So let's talk about the grow watt. Really nice system. It has inputs, so it has AC input, AC output. The AC input is 230 volts. You can put a generator or you can connect it to your house electricity. The output will go out to any 230 volt power supply, which an air conditioner, fans that are 230 volts work. Also has for the photovoltaic, inputs and it also has right there for batteries which I will 
eventually put batteries in here. I made my own batteries that I will be using. So these are the batteries that I will be using. Um, this is the size, so 13 cell. The BMS, which is 100, here we go. This will be easier. So it's a 13 cell, 100 amp BMS. This is a, a battery. I am gonna change these cables to an eight gauge. I use these for my electric bike, they work fantastic. But I am gonna be probably powering more out of these when the AC turns off. When the solar comes off and these will back up the battery, which I'm gonna make through this one, this one, and then this one here, I'm gonna add another roll right there to the batteries and change out this wire also. So I'm using eight gauge wire. They come together. That is what I'm going to replace these wires with. And then this battery I'm going to also put on the 8 gauge wire. And I will be having three of these batteries. Which will give me a lot of power. I think each one is... I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how much power they are. But they're they're pretty good power. I get about 9 miles on on this battery on the electric bike power is pretty good these are Samson batteries 18650 so I have a this used to be for my jacuzzi I had a jacuzzi here and it broke after a while but the cabling goes from there goes into that little junction box goes into the grow watt and then from the grow watt it goes into the AC unit on the side over here so let's talk more about the power plant this is how many kilowatts I'm using from the city light that's 101 that's okay so we got a 98 volts I mean watts that is how much consumption my AC is using this one there Right now, it uses 500 watts around. My house is at 70 degrees. In the daytime after 10 o'clock, I get free electricity. This watts goes up to like 1200 in the daytime because the air conditioner works harder. This is the air conditioner. This is a 38 shear air conditioner. It goes tubing. I left the tubing long because I plan on putting it in this unit. It's going into my house while I'm testing it, making sure this whole power plant works. This is where the AC unit is in the trailer. As you can see, it keeps it at 70 degrees. Works fantastic. Cools the house down. There's the outside trailer. The only way to test it 